Welcome to or welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. I thought since it's double digits, we could do something a bit different than a normal like, you know, day to night type thing. That we could do a little bit of a gift guide. Shout out to Nicole Leno for this idea. Um, because I know that me as a 20 year old, so a young adult, uh, and as teenagers, I think in general, we're hard to buy for. I think my camera woman can attest to that. We are totally, totally hard to buy for. And, you know, it, needing ideas and wanting ideas to put on your wish list or to buy for a partner, or your child, etc. Fill in the blanks there. Uh, it's not always the easiest thing to do. So I came up with a list. A bunch of a bunch of ideas of things that I know are trendy that myself would like if possible. Um, these are not on my actual wish list because I won't have my parents spend you know millions of dollars like this. But you know they're just trendy. They're good. I know most of us like them, and you're more likely going to amaze the, the person that you are trying to buy a gift for. So yeah, I thought the tree was the right move for this video. <laughs> so uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I put on here, I think it's kind of a lazy gift, but also it makes total sense when you're thinking about teenagers and young adults because we're really picky. Uh, that's gift cards. I feel like gift cards are the best and worst gifts. I feel like they do come across kind of lazy, like really, you don't know me, you don't, you don't know me well enough to just get me something from this place. But also at the same time, it's like, oh, hey, I get, I get what I want. So I, I kind of go back and forth on it. Um, but yeah, gift cards are always a safe option. But moving on, the first thing I put on here was Lululemon leggings. They are so comfortable and so soft. I, oh my gosh, I definitely want a pair of Lululemon leggings. Warning, if you've got thick thighs, excuse me, you don't know, thick, thick thighs save lives. We all know that. But if you are thicker, like me, then um, be aware of your leggings creating holes in the middle of your legs <laughs> or on your thighs. Unfortunately, Lululemon leggings have had a record of having easy tear, easy uh, ripping, especially on the in the thigh area. So if you can start a fire with your thighs, maybe avoid the lemon leggings. But hey you know your body best and you know what you want and what you like. They are a bit pricey. It's probably why I've never gotten a pair is because they're a bit more on the higher end side, but I have been in the store and I've looked at them online and I definitely want something of theirs. They also came on the jogging set, I believe, and they look really cool. So yeah. Um, if somebody you're, you know, or you, maybe you'd want, uh, is really into Victoria's Secret Pink, some very like safe options to get there are their pajama sets. So you can get um, their silk pajamas, which are like their classic uh, striped pink and white pajama sets. They come in like long pants and long sleeves, shorts, and a t-shirt. They come in different things. They have different colors. They have nightgowns, they have robes, slippers, eye mask wears, uh, and you literally can do all of that and probably spend, I would say maybe $100, give or take that number. And it's a really safe option, as long as you know like what kind of style they're into the most. Like someone like me, I would really want shorts and a t-shirt because I, I'm not somebody who wants to sleep in a long sleeve. Um, and I just love shorts too much for nighttime wear. Uh, and those are just like a really safe option that like are guaranteed to be enjoyed if they're into the, that brand. If you maybe know them a bit more intimately, maybe like a, a significant other, and you're looking for a gift maybe even your parents. Hey, I don't know your life. Um, bras and panties are always great from Victoria's Secret. Those are really nice bras. I have some of their bralettes and sports bras and they are amazing. <laughs> I love them. And of course, they're like five underwear for $35. I mean, come on. That's a no brainer. Again, as long as you know the style and colors that they're going to enjoy. Uh, I feel like those are just obvious great hits. Uh, if you're more of a shoe type person or looking for shoes for somebody, of course, Converse, the high top Converse are always a solid. Vans are always a solid. 
uh but some other like more trendsetty ones are the nike jordan ones those have become to trend like insane trends i don't really love nike that much i've always been more on like the adidas side of things but yo i think they're actually really cool looking and when i see people wear them i'm like yo uh a pair of nike shoes that i actually do want is the air force ones they're kind of like high, they're white high tops essentially but they just look so cool and like saying you're wearing air force ones just sounds so cool um and they've become into huge trends nowadays uh and they're really pretty but they're also really expensive uh adidas the basic adidas with the stripes like the, the ones i had the black and white ones i feel like those are such like staples in people's wardrobe because they go with so many things i feel like everybody has those shoes even like moms are wearing those shoes now um and they're just solid shoes to be totally honest so those are some great shoe options for you guys uh a good clothing brand to kind of go with if you want to like impress somebody or maybe you're looking for maybe some nicer clothing as white fox they have come into trends i didn't know who they were until i would say the past year i've heard a lot of my favorite content creators like ash nicole alicia marie um nicole leno kind of mentioned them more and more and more and i've seen a lot of events come up and instagram posts with their name on stuff um white fox so far what i've seen have had great reviews and i would love a pair of theirs something of theirs i saw ashley nicole but this matching set it was like a long kind of baggy t-shirt with uh biker shorts and they're both in this this color it was like a sagey green color and it was so cute they also have it like in the browns because we all know neutrals are really big right now like the browns and everything they're really really big right now uh and those are always great matching sets are always a solid option again just know the color of what they would want they also have like sweats and tank tops and bralettes and workout clothing and all that that also look super cute they also have jeans i believe as well of like boyfriend jeans and stuff which everyone loves a pair of boyfriend jeans so white fox is definitely a good good name to go for if you can spend a bit of money if you have more of a like gamer that you're looking for or maybe you're more into gaming um so great things to look into getting are switches i feel like everyone has a then and then a nintendo switch like everybody has those like everybody's playing with them right now uh if you were super into the wii as i was growing up then you will love the switch a lot of those games that we all remember playing like mario kart mario party um are on there and are available crash bandicoot's on there sonic's on there uh and of course the zelda series is out and is a part of it and there's so many other series that have come from like pc games and other companies that are on and available for the switch of course everyone knows about animal crossing that literally was i think the game of the year last year that are among us one of the two uh, and everyone has that game right now so if you are falling behind and don't have one just yet highly recommend getting one you can go and hook to the tv or you can get one that is just like handheld like the old like psps and ds's were um another good gaming console is the vr the oculus i feel like again everybody has those they have arcades dedicated to those i have an arcade around here um just dedicated to vr systems uh i have an oculus thanks to my cousin and it's amazing yes is it an investment yeah but is it like really worth it yeah <laughs> you get your money's worth and you're gonna have so much fun and it's just one of those kind of experiences that you have to experience to understand and we all know like vr is the future we all know this like i ai and vr like welcome to the new reality everybody um so i feel like investing right now when it's still like pretty decent pricing is good go to best buy you'll find hundreds of them uh, if you or somebody you know is trying to become a content creator wants to join this terrifying world um then <laughs> it's the internet guys come on <laughs> then some great filming stuff to get into would be getting some canon products personal opinion i think canon is the best camera and equipment um brand out there i know there's many others that are more budget efficient but if you're looking for a good brand with good quality do the investment and get into some canon products i love and i swear by it. i know a lot of content creators who are thousands and millions times popular than i am 
who will say this as well, the Canon G7X is the vlogging camera to have. I don't care if you're a gamer, a vlogger, um, a makeup artist, a, a drawing artist, if you do ASMR, I don't care what you're into for, for do filming videos, the Canon G7X will get your videos going. It's a very simple, small, compact camera. You can take it wherever you go. If you want me to want to go up from there, maybe you're more into like photography, I would recommend the Canon G7X for like photography people. If you're more into the photography side of things, I'd recommend maybe like a Canon Rebel T7 or a Canon EOS or some kind of DSLR would be a little bit more up your speed. A good beginning one is the Canon T6. I, that's a good starting one for photographers because it's really simple. Um, functions and simple like uh settings you need to go through but of course choose of your own uh, but if you're just tired of using your phone and you want to upgrade or you just want to kind of start off with a bat on like a higher note canon's the way to go uh other clothing products that are really popular right now puffer jackets somehow are coming into trends i remember when i was in middle school like sixth grade i hated puffer jackets they were the vein of my existence Ugh. and now like everyone's wearing them and of course it's the one I don't own one anymore because I'm like they're ugly and everyone's like they're cute and I'm like oh crap okay where was this you know like a hundred years ago when I was wearing them uh so yeah go to like Target seriously just go to Target pick up like a black or white one if you can find one with like a silver almost like aluminum foil type inside and it's like a nice white yo you can knock that off and say you got that from Nordstrom it's like triple the price and like you're gonna be just as cool like seriously just take off the tag you'll be you saving like probably about like 30% of your money I promise um, also if you own or get or want an essentials hoodie you're cool <laughs> essentials hoodies are expensive and <laughs> they're hard to come by because they sell out fast so I'm just saying, if I ever see you wear an essentials hoodie, I automatically think you're too cool for me and I probably will never talk to you because I'm like, they will never talk to me because you are cool. <laughs> I want one so I can be that person, but like, also I know they're probably like $500 for a hoodie. So I'm like, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Um, other clothing stuff that of course is always just solid is the Brandy Melville. Brandy Melville is, uh, is never ending. I can't, I don't remember when I heard about, I don't remember not knowing what Brandy Melville was. Everybody I knew wore Brandy Melville. All the girls wore Brandy Melville. I have never been Brandy Melville size, as I know that they're known for only selling small and extra small. I heard that a lot, that they don't sell anything above a small. That could be a lie, but that's what I've always heard. And so I've never experienced them, but I've always heard that they are like the best place to go to for like, the feeling of like worn, like nice t crop tops, t-shirts, tank tops. And I know they come out with a new tank top brand and uh, yeah, get some brandy. They're a bit pricey, but like I've heard they're worth it. I've never got to experience them. Hopefully one day I can experience Brandy Melville. But until then, I'll just keep spreading the rumor that they're great. <laughs> if you're more into maybe um, skincare, makeup, all that kind of stuff, um, well, hello, skincare. As you guys all know, I am the one of the ambassadors at the Athea the skincare uh, skincare company. I do them; they sponsor my podcast essentially. And since the podcast kind of hasn't been happening recently due to life and school and stuff like that, uh, I'll plug it here. If you guys would like fifteen percent off your Athea skincare purchase, use the link or the code at checkout, and uh, you can get fifteen percent off. And they're, they're great. They are literally the reason why I have nice skin. I love working with them. Athea and all of the whole team there is amazing. Their products are legitimate and they also serve a good cause. A good portion of their proceeds go to help people help build schools and put women in education, which is super, super awesome. And uh, something that I'm so glad that they're so advocate about getting kids in school and helping build countries and build places for people. Um, so yeah. But maybe if you don't want to, like, you know, use a promo, Glossier products are really good. If you have a a child or a um, a person in your life, uh, and if they are really looking for makeup products, but maybe they are 
new to the makeup game, maybe you don't want them to have full coverage. I understand that some parents, when they're first buying products for their kids, they don't really want them to have the full coverage, full on makeup sets. Glossier is really good about keeping their name up where it is, but not giving you insane coverage. Uh, I feel like their like their versions of BB creams and all of that actually are better than most name brand BB creams are. Uh, and their lip glosses are really nice. Their eyebrow, their all of their stuff, their blushes, they're all actually really, really nice, really natural. And you're gonna get your money's worth in longevity. Uh, if you're looking just for like some refills or looking just to kind of like spice up someone's makeup game, uh, some other things I'd recommend, and I will live and die saying this, Benefits Roller Lashes Mascara is the best mascara to be made. I have tried countless different mascaras. Trust me, I've been doing makeup since I was like eight or nine. They are the best mascara ever. Don't fight me on this, don't at me on this, because you know I'm right. <laughs> Some other good knockoffs if you maybe don't want to spend like $35 on mascara would be Maybelline New York's uh, Blackest Black. That's really good. Maybelline like Split Lashes, those are pretty good. Um, lip glosses are always solid. The rose chapstick, the rose Vaseline chapstick, I miss having that. I ran out. I need to get more of it. It is so good. Good stocking stuffer. They're good stocking stuffers. Um, but lip glosses, of course, you can get dollar store and stuff like that. Um, ooh, NARS lip glosses are really good. I love. <laughs> okay, so NARS came out with a sex line. For their makeup products their lip gloss color orgasm is wonderful <laughs> so you can go around school telling your friends that you're wearing orgasm and you can let the jokes begin um, but if you want like a dupe off of that maybe you're not comfortable with your kid wearing something called orgasm which i totally understand uh <laughs> then maybe like new york has some great like dupes of the same exact thing and not named that um <laughs> If, ooh, if you have someone in your life who's like me and is a total book nerd and loves books and can spend hours in bookshops just staring, <laughs> then this is definitely for you. Uh, of course, Barnes & Noble gift cards are mwah. I hope I get one this year in my stocking. I really hope I get a Barnes & Noble gift card because there's so many things at Barnes & Noble that I want. But maybe you're looking for a new series to get into to add to your wish list, or maybe you're looking for some classics to get in that... To, just buy somebody that already have it. May I recommend One of Us is Lying or One of Us is Next. It's a book series and it is so good. It's a murder mystery. It's about four, no, sorry, it's about five high school students who go into detention, but only four come out alive. And every new book, somebody else dies with new characters, new plots, but similar story base. And I can't think of the author off the top of my head, but I'll put her, put their name here on the screen uh that it's so good i'm reading book two right now and i got the recommendation for the series from nicole leno which again shout out girl thank you so much um it's so good if you're into murder mystery get this series i can't wait to read part three uh also a good book to read is the bookshop of yesterday i got it last year i believe for my birthday uh a good guy friend of mine recommended it to me and oh my gosh it's like so good <laughs> it is such a good book Oh my gosh, it's like an emotional roller coaster. It's every kind of book in one, and I love it. Um, some other like good books to read, maybe if someone who's a little younger in your life. Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life by James Patterson. That's a great book. Uh, and that's maybe more for someone who's itching in middle school. They can get a kick out of it. Mm -hmm. Being a teen, words and advice someone who's been there. That's a good like body positive book and teaching girls about things and those are always great. Also, of course, there's Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Percy Jackson, all the traditional classic nerdy books that you can get somebody. There's comics. I mean, there's so many other different kinds of things you can get into um, that are just solid classics for books. Of course, like bookmarks and little tabs. Those are always great as well uh, for people like me. <laughs> um, kind of going back into electronics, headphones, headphones. Raycons, AirPods, Beats, 
any kind of gamer headphones really i mean they're solid i love beats i just bought a new pair of beats headphones um they are so good and they're not that expensive when you think about it college students from well i can say this i have a pair of airpods myself they're so more they're so much more convenient when you're at school and you can just pop them in i also have a pair of raycons that my uncles gave my uncle gave me they're also really nice because they kind of just go in the ear they're a bit more like secretive about like you fact that you have headphones in so it really does look like you're ignoring somebody because there's nothing here to kind of tell them oh headphones <laughs> but most new he most new phones nowadays don't come with headphone jacks so wireless is kind of what we all can use so yeah good choices uh, maybe you have a kid going back to school or maybe you're going back to school or maybe you're just like me and you are in love with office supplies even though you're the least organized person on the entire planet stationaries are always a great gift there's so many different brands out there that make such great high quality products uh and planners are always great i need a new planner as I, i'm taking psychology and math I need a stationery and the planners because psychology is going to take my life away as far as studying goes. So having something like that will just save my life in longevity. So stationaries, go to Walmart, go to, not Walmart, oh my gosh, don't go to Walmart for stationaries. Don't. Go to Target. Their stationery sets, go to like Michael's, Home Goods. Go to TJ Maxx. Oh my gosh. They also have really, really good stationery options. I will say that. Um, another thing that's really good if maybe you're more into like self-help is the five minute journals. If you're about Target, they are so good. It's essentially starting and ending your day off with gratitude and it's such a cool message to have. The prompts are really nice. They're not too complicated and it really does just kind of help you get into a more of a positive mindset. Uh, other great things are like Bath and Body Works, Lush, if you know someone's scent, then you can like get them scents and bath care products, that's always fun. The buy three, get three free at Bath and Body Works. You can give them two sets, something for their stocking and something for under the tree, and make them happy. Lush, bath bombs, get like a custom made bath bomb, which I know the thing they do, it's a bit more pricey, but like, a custom made bath bomb? Heck, that's how you could like propose to somebody or something like give them a ring like come on like that's just something that you can totally have fun with and you can get them so many for i would say a really good price um ooh, the apple ipad air and pros the ones the drawing ones the, the sketch pad ones basically i want i need one of those as somebody who loves digital art and drawing and painting and the whole artist world those things are like game changer for uh like thumbnails and all that kind of stuff they are so good yes they're a bit pricey but they're like worth the investment they're like the vr and stuff they're worth the investment in longevity and then the last thing that i have on my list are the blue light glasses those have come really more and more into trends as eco-friendly has become more and more and the idea and the the facts about phones and electronics keeping us from sleeping because the blue light reduces melatonin which is the sleepy hormone uh blue light light glasses let you be on your phone into the wee wee hours but still fall asleep with natural hormonal balance uh, as it takes that and helps it no longer be blue light and deflects that and so you can still produce melatonin while you're laying on your phone watching videos and it kind of just helps the whole process uh, and those you can get at Claire's for like $15 and they're so cute too. You know, you get like the cute like little nerdy black ones. I want a pair so badly, like the cute like nerdy black ones for sure. Yeah, especially for like me who edits on, on the computer all the time. It's heavily needed. Um, but yeah, that's all that I put down. Those are just some of like the millions of things that are going around right now. If you guys would like a part two to this video, uh, let me know. Maybe some like, gift ideas for like your parents. So like if you need some ideas of what to get your mom or dad or what to get your uncle or something like that, let me know because I could totally do that. Um, and I hope you guys like this video. This will kind of answer the question, what is your favorite gift or what's your dream gift under the tree? Let me know in the comments below if there's any gifts that I didn't say that you think will be good for someone's wish list. Uh, and maybe what is on your wish list? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you guys like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you guys want more of these. Um, I hope that your day was great. Happy Vlogmas. We're almost halfway to Christmas. 
that is insane uh, and i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys tomorrow for the last day of college i did it <laughs> but until then bye